In this video, I'm going to explain the importance of domain age as well as having it already listed in Yahoo DMOZ as well as uh, having in links. Plus, I'm going to talk about how to find ideas that you normally would not even consider about starting a new niche in ad facade or affiliate marketing. You can also use this video for planning on registering a brand new e-commerce domain name. All of this is all relevant because it still goes back to buying a domain name with age and other listing. So this is a very important video. So listen to it very carefully and you know pay attention to what I'm saying. So the tool that you would be using is called Domain Tools. If you're doing business with Shopping Cart Elite and you need to use our account, just ask. We can let you find what you're looking for. What is dropping domains? Dropping domains basically is a website that has already expired and it will either be going into an auction or it's going to be deleted completely. So fact number one, if your domain name is one year or less, you risk that Google will implement something called a sandbox on your domain name, which means they will not rank you to the first page until the sandbox is lifted, which usually takes six months because you're a brand new domain and they do a filtering in case you are a spammer who you know registers for specific keywords and tries to rank. It's not always that it happens, but there is a risk for that. The second reason is you know age plays a big role in, in being in Yahoo for ranking. In fact, if you have an age, it gives you a lot of points towards that. And Google also plays a big role in that. They play a bigger role in checking if you have a DMOZ listing, which plays a very big role in, in Google. If you have a DMOZ listing, they definitely get you higher in the results. DMOZ listing is basically a human-approved search directory where real humans actually approve your website if it's legitimate or not. All of your odds are a lot greater to succeed with your website if it's older than a year, you know, and, and obviously if you're a 10-year-old domain or, or a 12-year-old domain, and, you know, if you have a DMOZ listing and a Yahoo listing, I mean, all of these are going towards the benefit of your odds of succeeding. And I highly recommend that you buy a drop domain that has good history behind it, that has SEO behind it, that possibly isn't DMOZ or Yahoo versus registering a new one. You will succeed faster, you will make more sales, you know, you'll get more traffic and so on. Plus, there are scenarios where you physically start getting traffic immediately because it's already ranked for a bunch of keyword terms. Here's an example. And by the way, you can just go to domain tools, buy domains, dropping names right here. So domain tools, buy domains, dropping names. For each date, it tells you how many domains are being dropped and how many are, you know, how many characters and how many are in DOZ and, and Yahoo and so on. If you have some specific keywords, that you need to target, you can just search for them and you can say, you know, I don't want .org or other, you know, I want it by age, it has to be in DMOZ, you know, for, for these dates and so on. And do you know how much one of these domains will cost you? I mean, sure, you know, there are some really high quality domains which will cost you a lot, but if nobody renews it or, or buys it on auction or whatever, if you go through GoDaddy to back order that domain name, it's going to cost you $20, which is... $10 more than what you would pay for a brand new domain name, except you're going to get, you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands of value by getting an aged domain name. So let me just go to today's date. Keep in mind that it doesn't matter what niche you're going to go into. Here's an example that I wanted to use. Triangle Art, listed in DMOC, 13 years old. This is like valued at at least $500 if the right person, you know, was looking for it. I actually went ahead and did an AdWord check. So... Look at this. It actually says that you know if you get a rank for the word triangle art, you're getting 5,000 searches with an estimated click that you know you'll get paid is a dollar fifty. Sure, it's not a lot. You know, it's only 75 cents that you'll get out of it. But the point is that it's twenty dollars and you get free traffic. But that's not the point I'm trying to make. First, if we go back to keyword tool and type in uh, triangle art, people actually name their businesses after that. There's a Chicago Art Fair and, and Triangle of the Art and Golden Triangle Art and Triangle Printing. I mean, there's all kinds of different things. Now, if you find a keyword like Art Gallery NYC, I have no idea what's going to come up here, but okay. Art Gallery in NYC, I'm pretty sure 
So um, I just typed Art Gallery NYC in Traffic Estimator, and you know, 18,000 people searched for it. Again, not not a very high cost per click, but you know what? I had no idea or had it in my mind to do an art gallery or anything that has to do with art website. And now there's a really good opportunity to make a website about that subject, 13 years old, one listing in DMOZ. So this could be used for two different reasons. One, as an idea generator for what should be my next niche, or you can use it for finding the domain name for the niche you want to go for. And, you know, th there's, I actually just saw this, you know, superbridal.com, nine years old, great for wedding domain name, right? They actually came up for a domain name for you, and, and it's ranked, I mean, it's aged, I'm not sure if it's ranked. Let's see what is the SEO score. So let's say that I do want to do this triangle art. When you click on it, and you do need a paid account to see all this stuff, you can actually check under the site profile, it tells you how many visitors you're going to get. It's, you know, this is a website with a thousand unique visitors coming into it right now. SEO score, 75%. It has 20 inbound links coming to it already. I mean, this, like I said, this is worth $20. Triangle, see, Triangle Art has expired. This domain could be yours for the right price. You know, back order it. And usually I do back ordering with GoDaddy and so far, I've been able to get every domain that I wanted. There's a lot. I mean, I mean there's at least you know 50,000 domains dropped each month, and as you can see, a lot of them are you know pretty old and have DMOZ listings and Yahoo listings. So definitely take advantage of this. I mean, yes, this takes some time to research and come up with the right name, but the amount of value that you're getting from acquiring one of these is really priceless, like I'm not even kidding. In fact, now that I think back about it, everybody who I advise to buy a domain name, and I never advise anybody to buy drop domain names before because I wasn't aware and sure how to you know, acquire these, now I do, every one of their websites succeeded. And main reason why, because they were already ranked in Google Index. A lot of times when you buy a brand new domain name, what happens is Google will index you but because of your age factor and because of your there, no previous history, every time you add a new product, they don't index your product because there's no history behind your domain name. But if you buy a 13-year-old domain name and you have 100 pages that are already indexed, then the other pages will be indexed immediately on the first page if it's not a very competitive keyword term or, or an article that you write for not, not a very competitive keyword term. If you have a website already with Shopping Cart Elite, and you've been with us for you know at least two years, and you actively do new products and articles, I'm sure you will know and realize right now, you'll have an aha moment, that every time you add a new article or product, it actually shows up pretty you know high up there, maybe first page, possibly second page, but it shows up immediately. And now remember, you know, try to recall, this did not happen when you first started. And the main reason why, because you were on a new domain name that did not have any history, did not have any inbound links, did not have any indexing in Google. And now that you do have all of this, now you do have that you know, opportunity to just put a page up and all of a sudden it's ranked. So this is the same thing. You buy a drop domain name, especially older than the one you have now, with inbound links, with indexing, with age, with the DMOZ listing and the whole nine yards, and you're set. I mean, you literally just saved yourself thousands of dollars, years of work. I mean, I recommend you do this. So to conclude this tutorial, buy the drop domain name for a niche or affiliate marketing or a new e-commerce website that you're going to be doing. If you need assistance with using our account or just advice on what kind of domain name you should get, just ask.